Hello, my name is Alan Richmond. Um, you, amazingly enough, are in my home. This is what I hope will be the first installment of the next great cooking show. It's going to be called Avec Alan. Ah. Now, you might have seen something on television, a show called Avec Eric. It's with Eric Repair. He is the co-owner and chef of the Bernadan, in my estimation, the greatest seafood restaurant in the world. And in his show, he does what we're going to try to do. He goes to a market, he goes to the fields, and then he comes back and he cooks the dish that inspires him from what he has done in the market. Eric doesn't know where we're going. I'm supposed to get inspiration from the food of Westchester. And I have taken him somewhere I think really epitomizes what Westchester dining is all about. We're gonna buy the food, which will inspire me to cook your lunch today. You don't have much faith in my cooking. No, 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 I'm not gonna judge you on the cooking. I'm gonna judge you on the eating. Oh, fair enough. Okay, let's, 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 let's go. So let's go with Alan. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Well, here we are approaching the heartland of dining, of shopping in... Uh... You could taking me to Costco? Yep. No, yep. we're not going to Costco. <laughs> we're going to Costco. No way. <laughs> we're going to Costco. Have you ever been? No, I've been in one and I left. That's where we're going. We're going to Costco. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching that cart. This is it's, beautiful it's food. Avec Alan. Mission, mission accomplished. A fabulous lunch will be prepared. <laughs> it, it couldn't be more opposite than what the French system of shopping, which is to go to little five or six little stores and buy yes. enough for, for the days. And it's also a lifestyle. Yes. It's a way of socializing. Right. You have the butcher the shop, the, the bakery. You know, it's like you have an interaction with people. In that store, nothing looks like it's coming from planet Earth. <laughs> but what we bought today, you were impressed by the bread because it was still warm. The, the bread was still warm. It's not old darkness and an evil empire. It has some good things about it. Well, just like Avec Eric, Avec Allen has a theme. And the theme today is cheese, because I live in Westchester, and you can get cheese in Westchester, you can't get much else. So we had at least one, two, three, four, five, seven different kinds of cheeses with this meal. We had frozen mini quiches that we put in the oven, having no idea what they'd be like. By the way, kosher mini quiches. Even without the bacon, they're good. <laughs> it tastes like it's... Um something that you could have made at home. These are like a B to a B plus. They really are. Now, try the cheese. It tastes like fresh goat cheese with herbs. When we look at the package, there was nothing criminal about it. If you really want to make it more flavorful or- Olive oil? A tiny bit of olive oil. Hey, are you impressed? I was ahead of him on something. We have here smoked salmon. He uses incredible organic smoked salmon in his restaurant, so I thought I'd show him what we can get here. This is comparable to some smoked salmon artisanally made in terms of texture and flavor, and the quality of the fish itself. It has a natural flavor. Right. It was a good value. However, to me, it's nightmarish to see food packed with it basically was, no soul. It and bothered no, you. I mean, it, bo it bothered me tremendously. Despite the fact the result so far is pretty good. And you know what? There's more coming, more Costco meals coming. So what we have in the oven right now is a cheese souffle. And I figured he would either laugh me to death or be impressive. No, but seriously, I mean, to make a souffle, it's seriously gutsy. And you know when they're ready? You take the ball, you put it upside, upside down. down really? If they fall, they're not ready. This is the most frightening thing I've ever done. Holy smokes, he's right. You have to do that fast, Adam. Uh, very fast, clockwise, lifting it. So you worry, you worry me a little bit. To mixing it, it, mix motion, it like right? this, yes. Motion, yes right. But it looks good. We'll see when it comes out. It's beautiful. I don't even have to test it. I'm it's seriously <laughs> impressed. I wouldn't have had the guts to do it. Okay, so now we need plates. The camera, you cannot get the smell, but it's really smelling delicious. And it's cooked perfectly. We are about to eat a genuine, classic Julia Child cheese souffle. And to all of our surprise, it worked out. This is a real souffle. You know, it's a souffle with body. Now they make souffles that are only made with egg white. But when you taste it, it's like nothing. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you to Costco and you. <laughs> <laughs> the second course is the ribeye steak. While I was trying to cook French food, Eric basically left me alone. When I went to go outside and grill, which is purely American, he said, no, 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 I will do it. The steaks are entirely his doing. You know, I've never seen anybody put herbs or Provence on a mm -hmm. steak. Is that common? No, but I think it's very nice. It doesn't overwhelm the steak. 
The herbs toast. I don't know, I like it. And then Michael's potatoes. You haven't met yet my sous chef, Michael Peck, bravest, most daring chef I've ever met. Perfect seasoning, perfect texture, it's and it's delicious. really delicious. It tastes like that souffle, to tell you the truth. It's got mm -hmm. richness, it's got body to it. Yeah, from the salmon to the quiche to the souffle, and now the meat, and the we're having a great meal. And I would love to be in the streets with, you know, a sign saying, I hate Costco, don't go to Costco. I just can't do it. They have some good stuff there, but I don't want to go back. <laughs> And then as the last course, we bought a big wheel of triple cream. The idea of having a piece of cheese after your meal with a nice glass of wine is a perfect bridge between your main courses and your desserts. <laughs> and especially when it's elegantly served. Eric and I often don't agree on many things, but we, do, we both seem to agree on the fact that white wine is better than red wine with cheese. This is a very exotic wine. It's rich, but it has a little bit of acidity, which I think we need. And here's the last critique of a Costco cheese. This cheese, I mean, is ripe to perfection. It feels like a Sunday celebration with family and friends. We have created that experience. Uh, from the evil empire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you all for watching the first ever viewing of Avec Allen. I mean, it was intended to be a lot of fun and not particularly serious, but you know, this was like shockingly successful. We bought very good products, but we haven't spent a fortune on anything. It's all about cooking. And so we're thinking maybe, maybe in the future there'll be more Avec Allens. And if there are, I hope you'll be watching. Uh, uh,